Good morning. So, um, <coughs> I just did a gearing to 11 of clone sergeant, which left one clone left to take up to gear 11, which is the one in front of you. CT210408, otherwise, no, otherwise known as Echo. Um, synergy between clones is, is very good. Um, there's a couple of bits here with Echo. One is his follow-up. Whenever another ally uses a basic ability during their turn, Echo has a 30% chance to assist, dealing 40% less damage. This assist chance is doubled if the attacking ally is a clone. So, I only really run Echo with clones, which means that he has a 60% chance to assist all the time. Not only that, but also... Um, by the book, clone allies recover 7% of their max health whenever they use a basic ability. This effect can't trigger more than once before their next turn and is disabled if Echo is defeated. However, it seems that the bonus effect duration plus one would mean that you would get one more round of uh, recovering health whilst... Yeah, so you'd get one more once he, once Echo fell. Um, so that's great. And of course then if you then apply the Zeta to Cody, his, part of his Zeta is that clones gain 5% of, or reclaim 5% of their protection each time they use a basic. So what you'll get there, of course, is that you'll get Cody, who's effectively replacing 5% of their protection each time they use a basic, along with Echo providing 7% heal each time they use a basic, which uh, combined is very effective. If you've seen Smithy D's video um, provided by Knights Templar, you'll you'll know just how effective all of that is. Of course, all their abilities will be greatly enhanced if I put Omegas on all of them. But um, yeah, it's a, it's everything is a work in progress, isn't it? So we don't have a ship here. What we will do is have a quick look at the stats. So currently, with the mods he's got, seventeen thousand health, pretty much seventeen thousand protection. He's clocking in at one sixty seven. 2,264 physical damage, 3,276 on special damage. It's 27 resistance penetration. Hmm. Okay, so. Equip that. Agility. So if we have a quick look, we've popped two bits on there. So, yeah, hasn't really made too much difference as I look through. And sort of increased his health. Yep, yeah, it went up by, what, 100-ish? That's all of them on there now. So your health's got up again. Protection's increased a bit. 2454 on the physical damage now. 3353 on the special damage. And then upgrade. So health increased slightly on the upgrade to just over 18,000. Protection increased even more because when we started off it was around about 17,000 on both health and protection. Protection has now increased to 22.5. So yeah, that was quite a 
rising their physical damage has gone up to 2470 now and special damage increased a little bit as well up to 3361 now and that now is echo and therefore all of my clones are now gear 11 now all I've got to do is get an absolute ton of Zetas. I only have 20 at the moment. No, I don't. I wish I had 20. <coughs> Sorry, I have just woken up. Um, Zetas. I need 14 more Zetas to have the option of popping that on. And as you can see there, that popping that on will increase 5% on critical chance, 10% on defense and clones, allies, gay, recover 5% of their maximum protection whenever they use a basic ability. That's the one I'm looking at. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, this was me gearing up Clone Sergeant Phase 1 and where's Echo? Echo. He was the star of this one. Thank you for now. Right, checking out. Bye.